I'm here in the heart of Old Edinburgh to find out the real story of one of the city's most beloved inhabitants, Greyfriars Bobby. You may be familiar with this famous Skye Terrier who seems to embody the kind of four-legged loyalty that we can expect from our furry friends. To get the full story, I've enlisted the local tour guide, Bill Hill. So this is the famous statue. Yeah, this is Bobby. <laughs> It's fairly unusual for a person to have a statue put up in their honour, let alone a dog. So who on earth was Bobby? Bobby was a little Skye Terrier, part of Edinburgh folklore. He lived with his master, John Gray, a policeman, and they lived very close to here in the Cowgate. They were well-known, Ken Speckle characters, as we say in Scotland, around this part of town. Bobby was particularly loved by the children. But let me take you there and tell you the rest of the story. Yeah, as you can see, old Jock died, succumbed to tuberculosis, a great killer in those days. And he was buried here, and Bobby, at the funeral, simply refused to leave the graveside. And he stayed behind every night for 14 years, guarding the grave, waiting for his master to return. Every time he was chased away, he would come back again. When he was taken in out of the cold at nights, he would howl to get back to the graveside again. He was captured by the soldiers of the garrison to be a mascot, and he escaped down the castle rock and got back to the graveside again. When they brought in the dog licensing, he might have been poisoned as a stray dog, but the provost of the town, William Chambers, gave Bobby his collar and his bowl, and I've got the collar and the bowl here, and he made him a freeman of the city of Edinburgh. <laughs> Nowhere but in Edinburgh would the dog be made a freeman of the city. He was given the collar and bowl, and I'll just let you get the collar and bowl here. <laughs> You're going to have to wear the white gloves to handle oh it. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever put white museum gloves on to hold a dog's bowl before. All right. You've never held Bobby's bowl before. <laughs> That's the thing. It's here. It's quite an ordinary little, little bowl, little plain bowl, isn't it? yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it's got graving. Grey Friars Bobby's dinner dish. <laughs> and on the collar here, you've got the inscription, Grey Friars Bobby, from the Lord Provost. Oh, my goodness. 1887. Licensed. Yeah. <laughs> and it's one of the classic stories of Edinburgh, a, a city that is full of stories. Mm -hmm. 